gentlemen and welcome to the mental cast this is episode number 417 uh brought to you by tv for your mind.com mental television network uh you can also email us at mentalcast at gmail.com and also via facebook at mentalcast or mental television network i'm mike riley i'm chelsea tarkington i'm michelle light hiya pal <laughs> dane is voiceless <laughs> tonight so he's using a joe pesci soundboard uh, we yeah. will hopefully be joined by Billy Carter and Jace Diaz once they uh, get home. They are a little bit late. That's okay. A lot of action around here today, huh? My butt itches. You hear me or what? Yeah, I hear you, but my butt itches. Okay, okay. All right. Thanks for sharing, You're Michael. You're welcome. I always like to share my private itches with everybody. <laughs> I need an adult. I am an adult. <laughs> I am an adult, young I'm lady. I'm an adult. Oh God! It's time now I for need the adultier adults. I need adultier adults, saltier adults. Uh, it is now time for no, the. No, Mike. We do not need you being salty again. <laughs> really? I could if you'd like. <laughs> you know nah, what? You Fuck everything salty I like. the other night. Oof. Uh, anyway, it's time now for the top five mental news stories of the week. That's Thanks. right. That's right. You give us 22 minutes and uh, we'll build a Joe Pesci soundboard for Dane to use when he's got no voice. Excellent. You're welcome. Uh, number five is entitled something. I closed it. Why did I do that? Oh, oh it's, uh, it's entitled Peter's... Petersboro. <laughs> this is uh, Peterboro. I don't this know isn't where. This is a story about a man and his donkey. I'm going to be very no, disappointed. It, well, no, not donkey. Uh, I this is Peterboro, but I don't know what state because it's got no state. Oh, it's in the UK. Okay, never mind. Well, Peterboro, a state of mind. A man has been arrested following a Peterboro shop theft where the offender was stark naked. The theft is said to have happened at the JJ News store in Donaldston Drive, Paston, yesterday. A Cambridgeshire police spokesman said, We were called at about 3.50 p.m. yesterday afternoon with the reports of a naked man committing an indecent act in Donaldson Drive, Paston. It was also reported that the same man stole cigarettes from JJ News, also in Donaldson Drive. A 50-year-old man from Peterborough was arrested on suspicion of theft and a decent exposure. He is currently in custody at Thorpe Wood Police Station. (laughs) Wood. Yeah. Yeah. Um, let me see. Uh, so, yeah. A lot of action around yep. here today. Yep. Okay, well, so, with. Uh, maybe I misheard the story. Was he stealing shit or was he yes. just, like, being. He, he was naked and, and stealing shit. He was doing, he was doing a, little, a little of both. Where? Okay. Where if you're if you're stealing shit, don't you need pockets? Duh. Well, you got one pocket, but I don't advise putting anything there. Hi there, Jace. I feel like. Hey, can you hear me? Pockets. Yeah. Hey, Jace, okay. what's up? I feel like oh pockets would be useful if you were stealing shit. Yeah, and jamming it up your kaboga. Yeah, do not. Don't put that flat screen TV in your butt. Oh, I guess if you were just stealing cigarettes, unless, you could shove them up. Unless you're Eddie Murphy, then you can put anything in your butt, including the boogie. What? 
It's a song bad, reference. But... It's a reference to a song that's older than everybody else on this call. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very, very much. You're welcome, Joe Pesci. So, so what have I missed so far? You just far? missed the number five story about like, a naked guy who ran through and stole shit from an uh, England shop. Oh, boy. So that's all you've missed. Wow. Uh, why don't you... Uh, we're going to divert from the news stories for a second. Jace, do you want to uh, vent your uh, frustrations a little bit? <laughs> oh, my God. So... <laughs> You know, when 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 you want to buy something, do mm-hmm. not fucking do it right before the place closes. Like this guy, he's this fucking, fucking guy. waltzing around. He's fucking you know picking oh. stuff up here, picking stuff up there. It's like if if you're gonna buy something last minute, have a goal in mind, get it and get the fuck out. This and then of course I pre counted my drawer down. So that I could get the fuck out as quick as possible. <laughs> and this, this fucking idiot. This fucking guy. He pays <laughs> cash on top of it all. And I'm like, thank God. Thank God I had like a little bit of a, a written note as to what I had so far in the drawer. So that I could just, you know, cross out a few things and do a little quick math and, you know, the computer would figure the rest out for me. But he's fucking counting pennies down to the last fucking cent. And I'm just like, are you fucking serious? You know, like 901. Place is, mall is closed at 9. It's 901 and I'm still fucking cashing you out because you're counting fucking pennies. (laughs) God damn it, man. Like, I. (laughs) (laughs) I I, I hate retail. But you know what? It beats the shit out of pizza delivery. This has been this has been another uh, this has been another installment of Mass Holes, the stories of Massachusetts. Tune in next time. <laughs> Tune in next time when Mattel, Michelle regales us of stories from her hometown. <laughs> oh, um. So does that mean I can't come into your place and pay you in potatoes? <laughs> uh, it depends. Are the potatoes in the form of vodka? <laughs> Possibly, because because I my Cor- boss might not be happy, you know, like corporate might not be happy. But you know what? I would accept the payment in vodka. Can I just vodka. can I just point out? Is this the first time that Jason and Michelle have been on the same show together? It no, we be. were we were on. You can't be serious. No, uh, I mean the same mental cast. Uh, yeah. I just want to point out now the call is twenty uh, percent Massachusetts. <laughs> <laughs> So, so he's he's uh he's uh he's um east coast. I'm west coast. Yeah, that's I'm, really I'm not a, that far away from each other. Though. I'm, I'm a Cape Cod. <laughs> no, it's a fairly small state, you guys. Yeah. This well, it's it's about a two and a half three hour drive from where I am near the Cape. You know, like the south coast to uh, Western Mass. Because I mean, I used to go to UMass Amherst, so. Yeah, I'm about like an hour from there. So, so uh, two minutes ago, Dane typed into the chat. Jace wanted to say the following, but he never followed up on that. Yeah, I noticed that. I was like, <laughs> by the way, um, uh, Dane, Dane will not be helping defend his co-championship with you tonight in Jokerty because he's lost his voice. But uh, oh my! So it'll, it'll be it'll be you, Michelle, and Chelsea tonight. Oh, uh, I'm I'm here. Uh, with, well, just uh, just to give uh, everybody a fighting chance. Before the game, I will uh, have some wine. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I'd also like to point out you beat Billy here, so <laughs> I don't know where wow. he is. He's not and, even online on Skype, so I don't know what happened to him. He must have had to work late. It's fine. Uh, or he had, or he had something else he had to do. Something. I don't know. I can't, I'm not going to sit here and speculate. Uh, let's get back into the mental news stories now. I just, you know, as long as he's okay. Yes, as long yeah. as he's fine. Yes, that's fine. That's all we care about. Uh, number four, hi, honey, I'm home naked. <clears throat> yeah, so? I'm always home naked. <laughs> well, I mean, this guy was not at his home naked. Uh, this is Pendleton, oh. Oregon. Oregon. This is ha- somebody else's home naked. A- a- somebody was uh, playing hey, their organ when, uh, in Oregon. Do you guys remember in Oregon when they were with all of those uh, militiamen took over the uh, ranger station? I vaguely remember the story, like when like, I heard you, about it. 
You remember that that was a thing that happened? So Ranger Smith won't like it, Yogi, if the militia takes over. <laughs> Yellowstone's in Wyoming. Oh, uh, boo boo. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought about the Ranger Station, and I just thought about Ranger Smith. So, Pendleton, Oregon. A Pendleton woman says a naked man. A Pendleton woman says a naked man walked into her house, tried to hug her, and said just two words: "Hi, honey." He later had to be. <laughs> he later had to be rescued after running from police, falling down a cliff, and getting stuck in a tree. Gail Wilson. What? Hold on. Wait. What? <laughs> this this so sounds dude... like a Betty Hill sketch. <laughs> So a dude walks into her house. He's naked. He attempts to hug her. He says, hi, honey. Then he runs from the police, falls off a cliff, and gets stuck <laughs> in a tree. Uh, it all started Saturday when Wilson said she was eating some soup in her house and a man c- appeared at her door completely <laughs> naked. Uh, Wilson first thought the man was a victim of an accident or a crime, but realized quickly that wasn't the case. Wilson said the naked man had a big grin on his face and said, hi, honey, and opened his arms while walking toward her. Uh, the man was later, the man was later identified as 30 year old Stephen Burton. So I guess he needs uh, to go to the general hospital. (laughs) I don't get that joke. Uh, Look it up. (laughs) Wilson gave him a shove on his chest and told him to get away. Wilson says he sat her down on the scooter for a while and looked around the room. Then he grabbed her dog and took it down the hall into one of the bedrooms where he was gone for a few minutes. Oh, no. Oh, my God. I hope he didn't do anything untoward to that dog. Wilson got on the phone with 911 and the dispatcher told Wilson to ask for the man's name when he returned. Wilson said that when she asked, he got mad and ran out the door. While running for police, he jumped a fence on a pro- on the property, tumbled down a steep 40 hill, 40 feet hill until he got his foot stuck in a tree. <laughs> Uh, search and rescue crews pulled him out of the tree he was taken to the hospital general hospital for examination and cops arrested him on charges of burglary harassment disorderly conduct and resisting arrest by the way uh i'm sorry why is this not the number one story also making this story even more uh, even more heroic from the woman's side she has must she has muscular dystrophy so she did all this oh wow with with md with ms Muscular dystrophy. No, no, that's musc- muscular sclerosis. Yeah, Screw me. I'm MD. <laughs> muscular MD. Dystrophy. Sorry, my bad. My bad. <laughs> I I boo booed. I boo booed. <laughs> I boo booed. Hey boo boo. Hey boo boo. Oh man, now I really want to watch Yogi Bear. Shit. <laughs> you killed boo boo. I'll get you for this birdman. Number three. Can I get a witness? Can I get a witness? Can I get a witness? This is from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Actually, it's from Santa Fe, New Mexico. The news outlet's from Albuquerque, but Santa Fe, New Mexico. Deputies responded to reports of a woman driving recklessly on Interstate 25, throwing stuff out of her car on Saturday morning, and the call came to a bizarre. Excuse me, while I turn off the autoplay, and the call came to a bizarre conclusion. Take a shot, by the way, if you're at home. Uh, they, said, they said they tried to catch it. They can't hear it on the call, but you guys heard it at home. So <laughs> They said they tried to catch up with Barbara Barbara Ariel, Arellano, 51, while pushing 100 miles an hour. Investigators said Ariano exited on the 599 and crashed into another car. Then deputies say she got out of the car naked. Dash cam shows her running through oncoming traffic. All the while, she said, they said she was waving her hands in the air and yelling, Jehovah. <laughs> Hence the title of the story. <laughs> Jehovah! I didn't know Joe Pesci played the crazy cat lady from The Simpsons. <laughs> uh, she was arrested and booked on a list of charges including DWI, aggravated fleeing, and battery upon a peace officer. She was taking heroin pills, uh, heroin and pills before driving, by the way, and she admitted to drinking, so. <sighs> Thank you, that's plenty, thanks. Thank you. Thank you very much. Number two, who pissed in your Wheaties? Oh, I heard about this. Yeah, you're gonna find out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, Brad Decay posted about this. Who? Uh, George Decay's, uh, husband. Oh, okay. He posted, uh, 
I think it was a Distractify article about it. This is uh, Memphis, Memphis, Tennessee. A criminal and internal investigation is underway at, a Kellogg's, uh, at Kellogg's after a video surfaced online that appears to show a man filming himself urinating on products on an assembly line. An internal investigation found it was recorded two years ago at a facility in Memphis. It potentially affected Rice Krispie Treats, Rice Krispie, Krispie Treat cereal, and puffed rice case cake products, though all would be past their expiration date at this point. The video was uploaded Friday to the site World Star Hip Hop. Chris, Carl, uh, Chris Charles, a Kellogg spokesman, said the company is outraged by this completely unacceptable situation. We were shocked and deeply disappointed by this video that we just learned of yesterday, Charles said in a statement Saturday. We immediately alerted law enforcement authorities and regulators. I'm a lawyer. Thanks. Thanks, Vinny. Thank you very, very much. You're welcome. The blue ones are for fiber. Good. Yahtzee. What if I was just to kick the ever-loving shit out of you? Uh, <laughs> um, you'd probably go to jail. <laughs> Number one. <laughs> I assume, like, like, we're all dumbfounded by that, and that's why we're not speaking. <laughs> it's just, it's gross. I know. It is. Uh, uh like, <laughs> oy vey. Our number one news story this week is called Doctor Retentive Unreachable for Comment. A Swedish doctor. This is this is why that last story wasn't number one. A Swedish doctor who used anal massage to cure common ailments such as headaches has had his medical li- license revoked. I heard about this a- one too. Anal massage. The unidentified man who worked in Sweden, Norway, and Denmark has hit the headlines several times over the last twenty years due to his controversial technique. In 2003, he re- received a warning from Sweden's Medical Board of Responsibility after treating an elderly woman's headaches and back pain by massaging her anus. Well, yes, I, I declare the, uh, but first you have to unclench the anus. <laughs> the woman described it as an incredibly infen- offensive encroachment. Uh, HSAN called the treatment dubious, as none of the muscles that cause back pain can be reached by massaging the anus. The medic dubbed Dr. Anal by the local press. <laughs> oh, dear. So, so are you telling me he literally sticks the hand in the anus? Yeah, that he yeah, does. Was, I was wondering, I mean, I assumed anal massage did not mean gluteal yeah, massage. Because if you've ever had two, a nice butt rub... One. Sorry, I was expecting Dane to play the clip. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 Nope. All right. Got to no, be uh, mysterious I mean, every once in a while. Like, butt massage would be fine where someone's just, you know, kneading and rubbing your butt. I often need butts. After uh, after appealing to Stockholm <laughs> County Court in 2008. He was my, al- my boyfriend has a fantastic butt, and I like to squeeze it and touch it and do stuff. He was allowed to continue to work muscles. despite multiple warnings. The court said the medical authorities had failed to prove his technique contradicted scientific tried and tested experience, according to the report in the Swedish newspaper Lansingen i Ostersund. He after he, however, he lost his license in Denmark. Bad. Thank you. There it was. Thank you, Dane. He lost his. Thank you. <laughs> he lost his license in Denmark last July after piercing a patient's lung trying to inject anesthetic. Oh, okay. I was like, how do you pierce a patient's lung through the anus? No, no, no. This was a completely unrelated like, thing. I'm, in, I'm <laughs> impressed. <laughs> <laughs> easy, easy. <laughs> Are you all right? I'm gonna pee. Needs versus needs. This is important. Uh, K N E A D S. Although in Chelsea's <laughs> yes. case, it could be either one. Honestly, I needs the booty. <laughs> I needs the booty so bad, you guys. J- Jace is so dumbfounded he hasn't said anything ever. I I'm I'm just like what the fuck, you know? <laughs> so uh... I have no idea. Seriously, not a clue. Thank you, Sam Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Dane says, anal massages be like, and then he s- did that sound effect. Thank you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, hey, Sam Jackson, what do you think of uh, anal massage? No. No. Oh, dear goodness. It's, it's just going to be the sound you know what? No. 
Just, no. you know what? No. Yeah. Just, no. God, this, this is venturing more and more like, this is sounding more and more like wrestle crap every week. <laughs> wait, where's my soundboard app? Wait, wait, uh... Is it possible every motherfucker in the room is crazy but me? What if I was just to kick the ever-loving shit out of you? <laughs> no, 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 now we need these two voices to go at it. <laughs> I'm sure they've been in movies together. That uh, was pretty random. <laughs> March 18th, this is new music. Uh, Double A by Bauer. Gensho by Boris with Mertz Bow. New Misery by Colin Amori. Visions of Us on the Land by Damien Gerardo. New Swirled Order by Drinking Flowers. Thoughts That Float on a Different Blood by Dustin Kensrew. The Narrows by Grant Lee Phillips. This is What the Truth Feels Like by Gwen Stefani. Full Circle by Halos. Post-Pop Depression by Iggy Pop. Drink More Water 6 by I Love McConan. Struggle Love by Jaheim. Something Beautiful by Jordan Smith. 3 by Lima. Compassion by Lust for Youth, Kyoin Kyodai by Masami Akita and Aiko Ishibashi, Chaos Moses by Primal Scream, The Word Alive by Dark Matter, uh, Tim Darcy and AJ Cornell, Too Significant to Ignore. This week in theaters, on March 16th, Miracles from Heaven, starring Jennifer Garner, Martin Henderson, and Queen Latifah. Shit, I looked for the wrong one. What did you look for? Well, I hit mar- I meant to hit Miracles from Heaven. A young girl suffering from a rare digestive disorder finds herself miraculously cured after surviving a terrible accident. Okay. I thought it was like a brain disorder because she hits her head when she falls out of the tree, and that would at least make sense. Uh, the Bronze, mm-hmm. starring Melissa Roch, Gary Cole, Thomas Middleditch, Sebastian Stan, Cicely Strong, Haley Lou Richardson, and Dale Raul. The Bronze, as in like a bronze medal. Yeah. A foul-mouthed former gymnastics bronze medalist must fight for her local celebrity status when a new young athlete star rises in town. Can I just say there's a there's an actress in here named Haley Richardson, and that's my friend Josh's sister. It's not, I mean, it's not the same person, but my friend Josh's sister is also named Haley. Oh, Richardson. that's interesting. That's that's really weird. Didn't know. There How was do you know it's not her? Name. Because, oh. Oh. well, Ow. because this Haley Richardson, who's an actor, has a full head of hair, and Josh's sister is bald. So, well, definitely not like, the why? Because My she chose God. to. <laughs> okay, I mean, fair enough. Go fashion statement. In any Bye. event, uh, the Divergent series Allegiance, starring Shailene Woodley, Theo James, Naomi Watts, Jeff Daniels, Ansel Elgert, Bill Skarsgård, and Ellie Nicole. All right, this one says, after the earth-shattering revelations of Insurgent, Triss must escape with four beyond the wall that encircles Chicago to finally discover the shocking truth of what lies behind it. Honestly, that description sounded like a Mad Lib, didn't it? Yeah. (laughs) I don't know why I read it like that, but it definitely sounded like a Mad Lib. The Divergent series, Mad Libs. (laughs) Uh, Midnight Special, starring Michael Shannon, Kirsten Dunst, Adam Driver, Joel Edgerton, and Sam Shepard. All right, so what I got for this one, a father and son go on the run after the dad learns his child possesses special powers. That's, that. that's all, all I right. got. That's and all I guess the I'm and guessing the, poster, the son is being played the... by Adam Driver, who, so this is the second movie he's been in now. that. He's no, Adam Driver power. plays the dad. Excuse me? <laughs> I, let me look up who Adam Driver plays. He's not the kid. The kid is like a kid kid. A kid kid? Let me look here. Kid kid bobid banana oh, fana fofid. Let me see. Cast Joel Edgerton. Yeah, the kid. I don't know. Adam Driver's in it, and Adam Driver looks still just as creepy as he always does. Like a Serbian cab driver. <laughs> no, nah, right. some kid named Jaden Lieber. Her. Jaden Lieber. 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 So like a, I do not. My sister was freaking out about how attractive Adam Driver is, but I swear to God, as soon as yeah. Kylo Ren took off his mask. Hey, everybody, it's a German Elvis song. Liebe, 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 liebe. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> this week in v- 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 video games. <clears throat> On March 15th, EA Sports UFC 2 for PS4 and Xbox One. Need for Speed Windows. Salt and Sanctuary PS4. Sheltered for Windows, PS4, and Xbox One. On the 16th of March, Dungeon of the Endless for Xbox One. Shantae and the Pirate's Curse for Xbox One. 
On the 18th, Mario and Sonic at the Rio 2016 Olympic Games for 3DS. And Pockin Tournament. Are still making those? Yep, every two years, like clockwork. Yep, Pockin Tournament for Wii U. Woo! Woo! Pokin! That's uh, the Pokemon Fighter game. Uh, Pokin! De- developed developed by the guys behind Tekken, so that's why it's called that. I've heard mixed reviews. Yes, we hear you, Joe Pesci. Thank you. Uh, March twenty. Sorry, I'm, I'm all jizzed up about week. poking you all guys. Right, so we we got we got all this stuff in this week. All right, cool. All right, next ten deeps. We got two eight balls actually. First top eight dystopian films. I'll go with the Hunger Games series, like all of them. Okay. Well, that took uh, confession. <laughs> Confession, I've never seen any of them. Alright. I, I wanted I've to read the book first, and I... I've seen two of them. Still, I wanted to read the books first, and I still haven't gotten around to Hunger Games. Alright. Uh, anybody uh, else? Ah, uh, shit. Um, Correct! No. You know what? Um, I'm gonna go with... Uh, I'm gonna go with Children of Men. I really like that movie too. Oh, that Sounds movie good. was so good. Uh, my, next, my what? pick was actually Battle Royale, but Chelsea kind of took the water no, down. You American can take, version. You can take Battle Royale. I'm it's taking a, Battle Royale because movie. Chelsea took the water down. American version. Um, I would have gone with Battle Royale, except for the fact that Battle Royale is a terrible movie. I'm gonna this go with worse um, though. I'm gonna go with uh, V for Vendetta. How's that? And Dane's gonna pick Brazil. Let's do this. Uh, just missing the cut. 1981's Escape from New York. Yeah. 2008's Repo, uh, the genetic opera. Ah, uh, that movie's awesome. From 1973, Soylent Green. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, from 1987, RoboCop. And from 2000, Battle Royale. And that was Michelle's. Number eight from 1997. Get it, get it, get it. <laughs> at number it's seven. A good movie. Yeah. At number seven, 2006's V for Vendetta. Yeah, well. <laughs> hey, you weren't in the mic though. He's fat though. Yeah, I, I might as well have been. At number six, Minority Report from 2002. At number five, 1985's Brazil. That was Danes. At number four is 1971's A Clockwork Orange. Ah, yes, a clockwork orange. At number three, 1927's Metropolis. Uh, wow. That, I didn't even twing on that, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That was like the first sci-fi and the first dystopian film. So going hella old school. Actually, I have two copies of that movie. It's fantastic. At number two, 2006's Children of Men. If you can stomach silent films, I greatly recommend Metropolis. Yeah. yeah. At number one is if you're one of those people. At number one is 1982's Blade Runner. I actually had thought of saying Blade Runner, but I wasn't sure if it was dystopian enough. Who said Children yeah, of Men? I... Was that Jace that said? That Jace? was me. Yeah. That so you, you technically won the the list, but yeah. There you go, Blade Runner. Top eight games that have viruses. I went with Resident is. Evil. Okay. The funniest thing is, actually, uh, is that um, when I'd seen the question, um, I thought, oh, he must mean computer virus. So I looked up games that have computer viruses in them first. And then I'm like, oh, I think he means actual, like, biological viruses. What? Uh, do you have a pick, though, Michelle? Uh, I'm not sure if this counts. Uh, I, I hopefully I'm right, but what I know from I've only seen a little bit of the playthrough of this game, um, The Last of Us. Okay, yeah, that counts. I'm gonna go with uh, Doctor Mario. Uh, you took my pick. <laughs> yes. Uh, I am Doctor Mario, and I am. Mario, and I am I, I know you, Mario, <laughs> and I will spread your thighs. Let's go. I am Dr. Mario, and I prescribe high thighs. Tink! Laughter's the best medicine, so wah <laughs> You fell down! Uh, Dane says Halo 2 with the flood. I gotta pick one real quick now. I guess... Uh, I guess Metal Gear Solid 5. 
That's the first one I thought of off the top of my head. Number eight is Dr. Mario. Oh, I'm glad I didn't pick it now. <laughs> huh? You, 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 awesome. you could have picked Dr. List. Luigi. You could have picked Dr. Luigi. It's not a game. It, it is a game. It actually is. It's uh, Dr. Mario, but the pills come in sets of two. And... Uh, and you play oh, Luigi. I see. It's Japan only. No, no, actually, it was released in North America. Yeah, but I, it's an I eShop it. game. I see. So it's yeah, not it's even a con- it's not technically console, but yeah. Number seven, Warcraft three, Reign of Chaos. There's a virus in that. I guess the undead plague. Uh, sure, why not? It acts as a virus. Number six, The Division. Tom Clancy's The Division. Number five, Prototypes one and two. Number four, John Cena. Uh, John Cena. That noise was. Sorry. John I, I said John Cena. Cena. You know why I said that though? Because I, I still, I still had prototype in my head. That's why I said John Cena. <laughs> number four is Metal Gear Solid Five: The Phantom Pain. Uh, number three, The Last of Us. Number two, Resident Evil Two. Number one is Plague Inc. Evolve. Yeah, I guess. Is that the app game? The one where you're trying to destroy the world? I don't know, I think. I have no idea. Uh, two my pieces two wall. two pieces standing here before you. Just go ahead now. No. Uh two pieces of uh sad news to cover. This one simply wants to buy you rockets. Hang it. That's it. Ma'am, marry me. me. I'm the one that loves you, baby. Can't you see? I ain't got no future or family tree, but but I'm the one that lives the double ought to be. I know what a prince of double ought to be. You know, whenever I hear that song, I think of uh, Sarah Silverman show and Brian Pesane. And whenever I think of Sarah Silverman, I think of her topless in that one movie. (laughs) Well, I think of uh, I think of how. Da 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 da, you got a thing. Da 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 da. Uh, Sorry, nah. that's the noise the computer makes when it turns on. Uh, Brian Pesain played a like a gay uh, her her gay neighbor mm-hmm. who was a wicked metalhead, and you know, like he is in real life. But uh, they were wondering what was on his iPod because he's always listening to music. And they followed him around for a day, and like you know, he's like giving candy to children and passing out balloons and stuff. And then they discover that it's two princes. And he's like, <laughs> do you realize exactly how things would be if I actually listen to my kind of music in public every day? And then they like cut to a version of him, like kicking sand on children and shit. And... <laughs> <laughs> but it's just funny. Cause I hear two princes and I just picture Brian Pesane prancing around, giving ch- candy and balloons to children. All right, so the two pieces of sad news we got to take a, take care of before we get to the other news is that first of all, uh, one third of Emerson, Lake, and Palmer passed away of suicide. <gasps> oh yeah, no! On yeah, suicide yeah. is always uh, sad. Uh, Keith Emerson passed away uh, of a self-inflicted gunshot this... wound to the head. So oh. he he, w- he went out the Cobain way, unfortunately. I do no man, it's, it's awful. It's not a joke. Don't boo that. No, I mean it's it's legitimate, but it's that's a hell like of a way to go. Cobain died of. It's not like people saying Cobain died of an overdose of shotgun. Oh. Aww. Aww. Then the other one is <laughs> that, uh, the other piece of uh, unfortunate news is that Beatles producer George Martin also passed away uh, at ninety. I didn't yeah. hear about that. Stop, uh, you uh, I didn't video. hear about that. And uh, lesser person who. Uh, uh, passed away, you know, uh, was, uh, one of the chief puzzle makers no? of the Professor Layton series. <gasps> what? The creator of the Professor Layton series? One of the chief puzzle makers of the Professor Layton series, like the guy in charge of it. Oh man, I love Professor Layton. So. They're very fun. Yeah. Uh, Iron Maiden's personal Boeing 747 jet was badly damaged in an airport runway accident in Santiago, Chile on Saturday morning. Two airport workers were injured in the accident. The band itself is safe and accounted for. In a posting to their Facebook page, Iron Maiden said the accident occurred while the plane was being taken for refueling. 
Uh, the band explained, The steering pin that is part of the mechanism that connects the ground tug to the aircraft seemingly fell out. On making a turn, the aircraft had no steering and collided with the ground tug, badly damaging the undercarriage, two of the aircraft's engines, and injuring two ground tug operators, both of whom were taken to the hospital. Uh, Iron Maiden said the accident shouldn't affect their upcoming concerts in South America. They say that they are currently making contingency arrangements to get the show in, get to the show in Cordoba, uh, tomorrow with the band, crew, and equipment intact. Uh, the equipment was not loaded under the plane at the time of accident. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So now, now they can't fly, so they have to run to the hills. <laughs> run no. to the hills! Run for your life! <laughs> is it live or is it Memorex? Uh, <laughs> that's an old, old joke. Oh, yeah. Okay, then, because I'm wondering why I don't get it. Because it's an old, old joke. It is not an old, old joke. You just haven't listened to enough music. No, yeah. I'm talking about the Memorex joke. It was a commercial yeah. from the Oh, early is it live or is it Memorex? Yeah, it was a commercial yeah. from the 80s. His master's voice. Yes. Uh, Lucy Lawless's character of Xena in Xena Warrior Princess will be openly gay in the upcoming reboot of the show. Last year it was announced. Oh, wow. <laughs> announced last year it was announced that NBC were working on a reboot of the original series, which ran from nineteen ninety five to two thousand one. Following suggestions over the extent of the relationship between Xena and Comrade Gabriel, executive producer Javier Grillo Marchalk has now confirmed via Tumblr QA that the series will fully explore the relationship that could only be shown subtextually in first run syndication. There you go. You know, let's see if I'm waggling my eyebrows. You're waggling your eyebrows? Hey, hey, hey. Yes, in kind of like a sexy lesbians kind of way. Wink, wink, notch, notch, say no more, say no more. Oh, wait, they're saying more. Cult, cult live-action comedy The Tick is making a comeback. But, but without Patrick da, 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 Amazon has ordered a pilot for a new take on Ben Edlund's comic book character with an all-new cast. Edlund, who created the 2001 live-action Fox comedy, as well as the 94 animated series, is back as writer and executive producer as is fellow original executive producer Barry Josephson. Griffin Newman is set to play Arthur Everest, and Valerie Curry has been cast as his sister Dot. Transcendence Helmer Wally Fister is in no negotiations to direct... <laughs> Sony I'm Pictures. Sorry, his last name is Fister. Yeah, P F I S T E R, though. Uh, Sony Pictures TV, the studio behind the 2001 series, mm. is producing the revival. Has been in the works for a while. In the summer of 2014, Edlund confirmed that there was an effort to bring the show back when rumors surfaced about a possible new Tick series at Amazon, with Edlund returning alongside Patrick Warburton, who played the title character in the Fox series. Warburton, who now stars on NBC's new comedy series Crowded, will not be able to reprise his role, but is expected to serve as an executive producer on the Amazon pilot. Casting for the lead is currently underway. Too bad I'm a little too young to play the tick, because I would love to don the big blue muscle suit of justice. And But you have to do it as Patrick Warburton. Ah... You know, Arthur, justice is a very dirty thing when you have to take the bull by the horns and bring it down into the dirt. That is when justice really becomes dirty. And you're wearing white, Arthur. Have you ever thought about that? Good news for the fans of the name Keanu. Not only is there a film called Keanu coming out this summer, but sounds like it will feature the dulcet tones of the world's most famous Keanu in the shape of Keanu Reeves. Whoa. Uh, when we recently asked Reeves about the movie, when we, I didn't ask him shit because I don't know the man, but uh, IGN, they asked him. <laughs> <laughs> I was very interested and wanted to talk to him. I would, no, seriously though, I would talk to Keanu Reeves if he offered. I just uh, called him up and was like, Keanu, bro. You get him and uh, his uh, co-star from Bill and Ted on, whoever his name was, I forget now, Alex something or other. Nobody can yeah, this movie, by the way, Keanu, the posters are insane. They, they've they made posters for this movie that rip off all of... They have the cat from the poster in all of the Best Picture nom uh, posters. So it's called... It, the plot is basically friends hatch a plot to retrieve a stolen kitten by posing as drug dealers for a street gang. And, it's, uh, and the it's, cat in the poster is the thuggest thing ever. By the way, I should point out, it is uh, Jordan Peele and Keegan-Michael Key. 
uh, of mm-hmm. uh, we'll Mad see. TV fame. And they're, of course, Key and Peele, their own show. Will Forte's in it. <laughs> I just want to. I just want to share this picture with you guys. <laughs> That's the cat. <laughs> How gangsta is I this cat, it. you guys? Oh, it's so cute. Look at him with the tree kitty. The only oh, way this it... could be better is if the cat, if it opens its little kitty mouth and it's got little silver grills, it goes meow, motherfucker. <laughs> Oh, I thought it was wearing a necklace and then like a cute little bonnet. No, it's wearing chains and a do rag. <laughs> this cat is gangsta, yo. Gangsta cat, yo. I thought it was yo. confined cute in a dark environment. No, no, gangsta cat. Oh. Okay, I need to run up front real quick again before we do Jokerty, but I'll be right back again. Great, I'm gonna pee. All right, uh, so. I don't know uh, if this will make the cut, but uh, Indiana Jones is coming back. Hooray! It's, uh, July 19th, 2019, Steven Spielberg uh, has announced that him and Harrison Ford will be making a fifth Indiana Jones film. July 19th, 2019. So I know what I'm seeing for my birthday that year. Aww. Well, my birthday's the 29th, but you know. All righty, guys. We, I'm gonna. I'm, yeah. up, I'm gonna set up Jeopardy High. Mike, uh, you heard about the new uh, Indiana uh, yes. Jones? Yes, I did. Yeah, I'm excited. As long as it's better than Crystal Skull, I'm excited. Now, if you excuse me, I'm just gonna get a little glass with some ice for my wine. You have you want some cheese with that wine? Okay, I guess not. Uh, so, it is now time for the home stretch, and that means, ladies and gentlemen, this is Jokerty! Introducing today's contestants. A cosplayer for Paper, uh, Paper Toad Ed Cosplay from Otis, Massachusetts, Michelle Light. Next, a cast member of You Can't Be Serious in the Mental Cast from Virginia Beach, Virginia, Chelsea Tarkington. And our returning champion... An actor and cast member of You Can't Be Serious from Boston, Massachusetts, Jace D. Ace, whose six weeks cash winnings total $275,900. Jesus Christ. So, uh, if you remember last week, Dane was our co-champion, obviously, because obviously you haven't heard him the whole show. You've been hearing the soundboard. His voice is gone. He's not going to be able to be doing Joker D this week, so he'll, he'll defend hopefully next week. So we're just having Jace as, ca- as champion this time around. This time around. And I'm back. Oh, this is uh, like the singing reference cast. Yeah. Uh, they also announced the price of the uh, PlayStation VR. If anybody actually has the money and gives two shits about VR. And the, uh, the categories for the first round of play are Theater Rhyme Time. Fruits and Vegetables, Decimals, In the Dictionary, Hairless Bands, and General Knowledge. I'm sorry, did I hear Fruits and Decimals? Fruits and, fruits, fruits and Vegetables, and then Decimals. Oh, okay. I was like, Fruits and Decimals. This, like, Hairless a nutritional... Bands? Okay. Hairless Bands, yes. I was like, Nutritional Math. All right, let's rock. All right, so Go as away, champion, Yahoo, nobody gives a shit. So obviously, as champion, uh, Jace is going to be going first. Uh, so the timer for the first round will begin when you pick your first category: theater rhyme time in the dictionary, Joker. Uh, Joker theater rhyme time. All right, and let's get that timer underway. A swift compliment of actors in a play. Uh, what is a fast cast? That is correct. Chelsea, hairless bands in the dictionary, Joker. Um, let's go Joker hairless bands? Why not? His locks no longer flowing in the breeze. The Edge has worn many hats for this band. Ah, what is you two? That is correct. Michelle, what is you two? Michelle, in the dictionary, in the dictionary, Joker. Uh... Joker in the dictionary? A biblical woman's name, it means pity, but is usually found before less to mean pitiless. 
I don't know. What is Mary? No. Jace? What is Ruth? That is correct. Jace, Joker, Fruits and Vegetables, Joker. Uh, Joker, Joker, Fruits and Vegetables. A veggie that comes in spears or the genus it belongs to. Uh, what is asparagus? That is correct. Chelsea, Joker, Decimals, Joker. Um, uh, Joker, Fruits, Joker, Joker, Fruits and Veggies. In most U.S. grocery stores, you should assume you are purchasing these, even if the sign says yams. What are sweet potatoes? That's correct. <laughs> Michelle. Yams being a South American product. Theater rhyme time, decimals, Joker. A uh, Joker, uh, the veggie one? The fruit sold under this name, if from that of an Italian estate, is a muskmelon. I have no idea. Jace? I just had some the other day. What is cantaloupe? That is correct. I'm gonna cantaloupe, but oh, I honey, to, do. I need to pause the timer <laughs> for a second because I do, even though you guys can't hear them, I, I do need to bring up the sound effects. So I've got the timer paused for just a second because I did forget to do that. <sighs> this is the part where I feel really, really stupid. Ah. Uh, <laughs> well, Michelle, it's okay. Jace makes everyone feel that way. <laughs> Ah, that was useful. Made my bed. <laughs> All right, there we go. So now I got the sound effects up. All right, and I'll restart when Chelsea picks her next category. Uh, hairless bands, Joker, decimals. Um, Joker, hairless bands, why not? Check this out. Uh, this drummer saying it's always the same, it's just a shame, that's all, with Genesis. Uh, eh. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Phil Collins? That's correct. Yes. <laughs> it's Michelle. not the real one. <laughs> Michelle, decimals, hairless bands, theater rhyme time. Uh, let's go with. Is that decimals? Yes. The representation. With... The representation of a number in the decimal system is called its decimal expansion. For one fourth, it's this. Uh, what is what is zero point two five? That is correct. Math. Woo! Numbers! Mathematical! Jace, Joker, Theater Rhyme Time, General Knowledge. Uh, Joker, Theater Rhyme Time. A place to sell stage objects. <laughs> What's a prop shop? That is correct. Good. <laughs> Starn it. Chelsea, Fruits and Vegetables, Fruits and Vegetables, in the dictionary. Yeah, fruits and vegetables. Almost all California raisins are produced from this seedless grape named for an English immigrant. <laughs> that is a freaking... Yeesh. What is Concord? No. Michelle? No idea. Uh, I, uh, bloody limey? I don't know. Jace. <laughs> Who is the Earl of Buddington. No. <laughs> what are what are Thompson seedless grapes? Thompson seedless grapes. <laughs> Michelle, <laughs> Michelle, in the dictionary, in the dictionary, fruits and vegetables. Uh, let's go in the dictionary. This word for a prison with a big I'm sorry, this word for a person with a big appetite often proceeds for punishment. Uh <laughs> what is what is glutton? That's correct. Good girl. Holy Jace, God. Jace, I'm a gluten? Jace, decimals in the dictionary, Joker. Uh, let's do the dictionary. This this word for the animals of a particular region is from the Latin. <laughs> I love Latin. What is uh, fauna? That is correct. Megafauna. Uh, Chelsea, Joker, fruit of vegetables, theater rhyme time. Uh, was there a Joker in there? Yes, Joker, Fruits and Vegetables, Theater Rhyme Time. Okay, Joker, Theater Rhyme Time. A short snooze inside an opening on the stage floor. <laughs> what, is a, what is a trap nap? Uh, I will accept. It's a nap trap, but yes. Oh, sorry. Nap trap. Michelle, Joker in the Dictionary. It's a trap! Joker in the Dictionary, General Knowledge. Uh... Let's do Joker general knowledge. In 2000, Albert Sabin's oral vaccine for this was discontin discontinued in the United States. Uh, I don't know what is 
herpes? No, Jace. What is uh, polio? That's correct. I had no idea. Jace, decimals, joker, fruits, and vegetables. Uh, Joker, fruits, and veggies. Pickled pods of this have been called a standard hors d'oeuvre at every southern cocktail party. Ah, fuck. Um, I don't know. What is okra? That is correct. (laughs) Holy shit. Holy. Wow. I just guessed out of my ass on that one. And that category is gone, so I'm pausing the timer long enough to take it out. Holy crap. I, I don't like this game anymore. <laughs> Mom! Mom! Alright, and the, cat- the timer will now start again once Chelsea picks Hairless Bands in the Dictionary Theater Rhyme Time. Alice Cathedral Theater Rhyme Time. Electrifying movements and positions of actors on the stage. <laughs> Wait, electrifying... Michelle. What is shocking blocking? Nope, you ran out of time. The timer, the buzzer yes. went off already. Michelle. Can I steal her answer? Yes, you can. What is shocking blocking? Uh, I will accept. Shock block, shocking blocking, yes. Michelle, Joker, Joker in the dictionary. Uh, let's do Joker math of the decimal decimals. Decimals. Each numeral from zero to nine is a decimal one of these from the word meaning finger. Oh, um, what is a digit? That is correct. Jace, Joker, Joker in the dictionary. Uh, let's do the dictionary. All right. Uh, it's defined as any substance with the tendency to produce a cancer. Uh, just about anything in California. What is a carcinogen? <laughs> that is correct. Holy. When you said he was good, I didn't think he was this amazing. Chelsea, hairless bands, theater rhyme time in the dictionary. Uh, let's go theater rhyme time once more. A proscenium month. <laughs> what, is, what is an arch march? I will accept march arch. <laughs> Very good. You said proscenium first that time. Uh... Uh, Michelle, general knowledge, decimals... Oh, wait a minute, hold on. Before you even pick, I'll have to give you a new set, because that category is gone. The the uh, theater rhyme time is gone. I'm not going to pick it. That one's too... Con- that's, that's too theatery. Too theatery. Yes, uh, 8 out of 10, too theatery. Um, All right, so your next... Your new uh, set, Joker Joker in the Dictionary. Joker decimal. Though not required, trailing these to the right of a decimal point are often used to show levels of accuracy. Um, oh, I don't know. What is an exponent? Incorrect. Jace? Uh, what are zeros? That's correct. Jace? Oh, now I get it. In the dictionary, hairless bands, hairless bands. Let's do it up, hairless bands. The follically consistent Billy Corgan fronted this band on 1979. <laughs> what were the Smashing Pumpkins? That's correct. Bands about people who are apparently like me. Decimals, hairless bands, decimals, Chels. Uh, what is... Uh, why not decimals? Let's see. In continental Europe, this punctuation mark, not a dot, is used to represent a decimal point. <laughs> oh, what is a comma? That is correct. Uh, Michelle... Hairless bands, Joker, hairless bands. Can I pick decimals? Yes, you can. And it's a daily double. Oh, crap. All right. So uh, stop the clock. Michelle, you have... You are in third place right now with 2,600. You are exactly... It looks like you are exact, almost exactly behind Chelsea by 2,600. Uh, you can wager any or all of your 2,600. How much would you like to wager, Michelle? Keeping in mind, you will lose. Here's it. the show. Here's my here's my goal. I wanted to go into this game getting third place, and seeing as I'm guaranteed that no matter what, I'm gonna bet it all just because I can. Okay, true daily double. This is only for Michelle, so if she misses it, nobody else will get it. When it's expressed as a decimal, pi never repeats or terminates, so it's one of these numbers that sound like they could use a little therapy. <laughs> 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 oh. <laughs> um, oh, oh no, I don't know when, and I'm going to kick myself for this later. Don't know. 
Uh, what are irrational numbers? Oh, yep. irrational numbers. I knew that one. I and knew uh, it too. the timer will remain paused for a second because I need to get rid of decimals because that category is gone. I'm just happy yes. no matter what. I'm getting third place. Uh, I accidentally sounded. I accidentally sounded the end of round timer, uh, but it's not the end of the round yet. All right, uh, it is Jace's turn. Timer restarts jo- when he picks Joker. General knowledge, Joker. Uh, let's do uh, Joker dictionary. Okay. Uh, this the entry before a synonym for the abominable snowman is this word meaning so far. <laughs> what is yet? That is correct. <laughs> Yeti. All right, stopping timer again. Uh, dictionary's gone. Man, that category really put the dick in dictionary. <laughs> ha, 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 ha. Chelsea, hairless bands, Joker, Joker. Chelsea? Um, what is uh, Joker, Joker, general knowledge? Uh, when this, while this chilly region makes up about 75% of Russia's territory, only 25% of the people live there. What is Siberia? That is correct. Alright, alright. I know some general things. Michelle, hairless bands, general knowledge, hairless bands. Let's go with general knowledge. Formed in 1980, it's the largest animal rights organization in the world. Uh, what is people... For the ethical treatment of animals. That is correct. Jace, Joker Ooh. hairless bands, Joker. Uh, double Joker hairless bands. This It's Not Over band gets its name from a shaven headed American Idol competitor. Oh, fuck. I hate American Idol. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Uh, who is Baldy McSpleen Black? Nope, Chelsea. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh, what is Daughtry? That is correct. Who is Daughtry? Oh, I it popped into my head right, right at the last second. If you, if you, I, had, I forgot that he shaved his head. Uh, Chelsea, Joker, Joker, hairless bands. Let's go with the Joker, Joker, hairless bands. I'm doing pretty well at this one. Uh, hope you were up late to know that beds are burning was sung by Peter Garrett of this Aussie band. What is midnight oil? That is correct. <laughs> I knew watching all those VH1 specials would pay off. <laughs> and uh, Hairless Bands is now out of the equation. Oh, thank God. Uh, Damn. I've <laughs> let my bold brethren down by missing that Daughtry one. Uh, Jace. <laughs> Jace. Joker, Joker, general knowledge. General knowledge. It's the prine, pine tree state. Um, oh, you skipped Michelle. Oh, sorry. It's uh, okay. I'll just be quiet. Uh, so, uh, hmm. So I already gave away the clue, so I'm gonna have to throw it out. You you can give it to her so, anyway. I well, mean, I mean, I don't know that left, I don't right? know if she would have picked that. Well, I don't know if she would have picked that clue because she could have spun Joker, Joker, Joker for all we know. So I'm gonna throw that clue out uh, and give I'm Michelle. Sorry. I'm gonna throw that clue out and give Michelle the. Oh God damn it! Stop doing that. I'm gonna throw that clue out and give Michelle the last clue, uh, the thousand dollar clue. The first person born in the Americas to be canonized with this woman of Lima or Lima. Excuse me? The first person born in the Americas to be canonized was this woman of Lima. I don't even understand the question. Uh, I don't know. Uh, Jace? Uh, I went to a Catholic school. I should know this. Uh, who is, I don't know, St. Rose? That is correct. Fuck. Holy shit. Good. And that is the end of the first round. We had about two minutes left on the clock, so we managed to make it through all the clues. By the way, it's the Pine Tree State. Does anybody know the answer to that? Maine. Yeah. It, it, who? It, what is Maine? Uh, but I accidentally who gave it to the Maine. Person. Yeah, I accidentally gave it to the wrong person, so I had to throw it out. Who all knows? right. Uh, at the end of the who first round, of, uh, at the end of the first round of play, uh, in the lead is uh, Jace with seventeen thousand four hundred. Chelsea's I got second with twelve grand. Michelle, you are in the third place with six hundred dollars. You'll be going first in double jeopardy. Third place, third place, third place, third place. All right, categories for the second round of players. Co- <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is me right now. Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> you just got final fantasy. I believe you have my stapler. <laughs> that was that was my phone going off. Sorry, guys. 
All right. Uh, categories. Categories for round two of play are mental cast hosts, role in common, mm bop, double M in quotations, countries in Spanish, literary before and after, and the life <laughs> and the life of Riley. And so the last category is worth zero points and does not exist. <laughs> har har har. <laughs> Can we live the life of Riley? <laughs> Uh, Michelle, oh. Michelle, as uh, third place, we start with you. Joker, Joker, Life of Riley. <laughs> Aww. Uh, let's go with Life of Riley just for shits and giggles. I was born in this Ohio college town that shares its name with a southeastern city in England. Uh, what is, uh, what is Leominster? No, Jace. I'm guessing. Uh, what is Kent? No. Chelsea? Damn, Kent was my guess. Ugh. What is London? I don't know. No, what is Oxford? Ah. Oxford. Uh, you could have also said the birthplace of the comma. Uh, d- Jace, countries in Spanish, life of Riley, roll in common. Uh, let's do roll in common. This actor and Robert De Niro both won Oscars for playing Vito Corleone. Who is Brando? Yes, Marlon Brando. Chelsea, uh, uh, literary before and after, roll in common, Joker. Let's go literary before and after. A steamy E.L. James book becomes Canadian football's biggest team prize. <laughs> <laughs> I know the first part is Fifty Shades of Grey, but I don't know anything about Canada. I don't know enough about Canada to... to what is it, Fifty Shades of Grey pennant? No. Michelle? Uh, I don't know. Fifty Shades of Grey Bowl? No. Jace? Fifty Shades of Grey Cup? Yes, that is the correct answer. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle, roll in common, metal oh, cast... Roll in common, metal cast hosts, Joker. Oh, oh, let's do Joker, uh, mental cast host. This regular cast member has hosted the show a record 11 times, her most recent being last week. Oh, I didn't pay attention last week. Uh, uh, who is Chelsea Tarkington? That's correct. Yay, no, I knew it. That's a regular. Who's boobs? <laughs> Who's boobs? Uh, uh, Jace, Life of Riley, Joker, mental cast hosts. Uh, let's do, uh, Life of Riley. I began hosting the mental cast on September 12th, 2007 with this man who I've known since the seventh, or since the eighth grade. Uh, I don't know. Chelsea? Uh, who is Dean Fortune? No. Michelle? I don't freaking know. Uh, who is your inner demons? No. Who is Chris McLean? Chris McLean. Wait, that's his literal name? Yeah, that's his name. That's the name of my favorite character on Total Drama Island. Yeah, I know. He gets that all the time. Um, <laughs> Chelsea, Joker, Metal Cast hosts Literary Before and After. Uh, let's go Joker Literary Before and After, see if I can redeem The myself. woman who gave King Arthur his sword moves to Garrison Keller's fictic- fictitious town. What is Lady of the Lake Wolverine? That is correct. Or... <laughs> that was awful. Michelle, oh, you jo- in Jeopardy. Michelle, Joker, literary before and after Joker. Let's do a Joker mental cast toast. Formerly Alex Jowski, this former regular and occasional host now goes under his real name. Oh, crap. I thought his real name was Alex. Nope. <laughs> uh, quick, let me go to the wiki. Uh, shit. <laughs> nope, I time is up. Legally... Time, I time. I Jace... changed his name. Ah, uh, fuck. Nah, I, I just saw it on Facebook, too. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna pass. Alright, Chelsea? I have no idea. I thought who is, Alex Chowski was his nope, official who is, name. Who is Matthew Coates? Yeah. Matthew Coates is his real name. I, I, I thought he legally changed his name Jace, to Alex Chowski. We got a timer, guys. Jace, Mental Cast okay. hosts, hosts Mbop Joker. Uh, Mbop. It was about as large or, uh, hold on, this actually has a, uh, damn it, click on it, there we go. This has a, 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 a thing, boink, there you go, there it is in the chat. It was about as large or even larger than a modern day elephant. 
I want to say Mastodon, but I know that's wrong. What is Mammoth? That is correct. Uh, I was so tempted to make the Power Rangers reference. I was thinking Mastodon! Power Rangers reference. Chelsea. Mastodon! Chelsea. Chelsea. Mental cast host, literary before and after mental cast hosts. Well, let's go mental cast host. Why not? This busty lady appeared on the show when she heard Jared Foyles had. She's hosted four times. Who is Jillian Zorowski? That is correct. She has nice boobs. There are more boobs. Chelsea or uh, Michelle Mbop countries in Spanish literary before and after. Uh, let's do countries in Spanish. Korea del Sur. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what is South Korea? That's correct. Hell yeah. Jace. Korea del Sur. <laughs> Jace. Roll in common. Mental cast host Joker. Roll in common. In March 2015, Zachary Quinto got to reminisce with Conan O'Brien about the beautiful life of this man with whom he shared a role. Who is Leonard Nimoy? That is correct. Mr. Spock. Chelsea, mental cast host, Mbop Joker. Let's go, Joker, Mbop. Advil, Aleve, and Aspirin are among the over-counter <laughs> anti-this type of drugs. What is anti-inflammatory? That is correct. Oh. Uh, Michelle, just Joker, Joker, story. Joker, stop the clock. Joker, Joker, oh. Joker means, ch uh, Michelle, is... you can pick whichever category you want and whatever dollar amount you want. So which category do you want, first of all? Uh, countries in Spanish. And do you want the 8, 16, uh, 8, 12, 16, or $2,000 clue? Uh, let's do, do 2000 just Okay, just so this is just for Michelle, but unlike a Daily Double, you won't lose any money if you get this wrong. Oh, cool. Costa de Marfil. Costa de Marfil. Um, uh, Costa de Marfil. I don't know. I'm sorry. All right. Uh, what is a Cote d'Ivoire or uh, the Ivory Coast? All right. One of the few countries they skipped in the nations of the world. Jace, Life of Riley, Joker, Countries in Spanish. Uh, let's do Joker, Roll in Common. Men in Black 3 had Josh Brolin as the young Agent K. He's the older Agent K. Who is Spaceman Tommy Lee Jones? That is correct. <coughs> Chelsea, literary before and after, Roland Common, Life of Riley. Uh, we're going to go with literary before and after, see if I can... Asimov's 1950 classic tale that gave us the three <laughs> laws becomes a poultry titled and animated show on Adult Swim. <laughs> <laughs> what is I Robot Chicken? That is correct. Yeah. Oi. <laughs> oh, I thought it was my life as a teenage robot chicken. Uh, Michelle, literary before and after. Joker, literary before and after. Let's do a Joker countries in Spanish. That's the Daily Double. Stop the clock. Oh, fuck. All right, so uh, you are in third place currently with 1,800. You are seventeen thousand behind second place. You can wager up to eight, you can wager up to all of your cash. So how much would you like to wager, Michelle? I don't give a shit at this point. All of it. Okay, this is just for Michelle. Danger zone. Countries in Spanish. Reino Unido. Can you say that first word again? Reino Reino Unido. That. United, uh, what is the United Kingdom? That is correct. Nicely done. I would like to thank the Academy. All right, so she doubles her score, and we go now for the next category to Jace. Jace, Joker, Roland Common, Literary Before and After. Uh, let's do Roland Common. Okay. In Beaches, this actress blossomed into Bette Midler. Who is uh, Mayim Bialik? That is correct. Chelsea, Mbop, mental cast hosts, literary before and after. What is... Uh, let's, let's go. Literary before and after. Milan Kundera's unbearable novel turns into a 1999 film about uh, literally getting inside a real-life movie star's head. <laughs> what is the unbearable lightness of being John Malkovich? Very good. Alkovich? Alkovich! 
All right, Michelle. Fucking do it now. Uh, countries, <coughs> countries in Spanish, Joker, mental cast hosts. Let's do Joker, uh, countries in Spanish. Letonia, which is north of Lithuania. Uh, could you please pronounce that again? Letonia. Uh, what is Lithuania? No. Uh, it, it, Lith- Lithuania is mentioned in the, in the clue. Oh, Jace? my brain. Jace? Uh, what is Latvia? What is Latvia? I, I, I feel stupid now. Uh, Jace. Joker, Joker, roll in common. Joker, Joker, roll in common. Ryan Gosling ages into this actor in the weepy romance of the notebook. Who is James Garner? That is correct. Uh, and, uh, that category is actually gone. Roll in common, that is. So I've stopped the clock to remove that. Okay. For you, Chelsea. Countries in Spanish, countries in Spanish, Mbop. Let's go, Mbop. Ironically, it was the for the movie Beginners that at 82 he became the oldest person to win an acting Oscar. Uh, I honestly don't know. Michelle? Um, I don't know. Jace? Uh, shit, uh, who's Christopher Plummer? That is correct. <sighs> and the uh, round is over. Time has expired. So, that means, uh, we are heading into the, f- that's the end of regulation. There is the, the one daily double left up there on the board. We'll go through the rest of the ones we didn't get to after the show. However, uh, it is now time for Final Jeopardy with the scores being Michelle in third with 3,600, Chelsea's in second with 20,400, and Jace is in the lead with 35,000 even. I'm going to post those there. Wow, that's really out of... Let me try that again. Nope, it still did it. All right. So hopefully you just... You just <laughs> uh, here, I'll do it like this. End of round two, post. There we go. That's a little better. So there's your there's your end of the round scores. Uh, you can send me a private message by clicking on the uh, little heads above the in the upper left hand corner that says direct messages when you hover over it, and you can just send me your wagers that way. So, uh, so I can't Sean Connery this. No, you got to send me send me an actual wager. <laughs> oh, Not bye. just a picture okay. of Mike having sex with a horse. I don't know how she would have that. Oh, uh, before you wager, the category, I guess you should know the category, is European Museums. Yes, please. European Museums is the category. Hmm. Okay. Got Jace's. <laughs> got Michelle's. And I've got Chelsea's as soon as it pops up for me. There it is. Okay. Um, my legs are all sandpapery. I gotta shave. Oh, I hate that feeling. Um, okay, sweet. All right, I've got all the wagers in. So, uh, you're not going to hear the think music. They will at home, so it's not dead air you're going to be hearing. Or it is dead air you're going to be hearing, but it's not dead air for them. All right, so European countries is the category. Sorry, no, European museums is the category. The clue. In one of her last official acts before abdicating, Queen Beatrix reopened this museum after a 10-year renovation. 30 seconds, players. Good luck. As soon as it plays. Come on, thank you. Do it. Just waiting on, uh, just waiting on Michelle's. Oh, I have to hit enter. I didn't. Uh, I haven't. S- I haven't seen it pop up for me yet. Oh, in the private chat. Yeah, in the uh, private chat. Yes. Did you send it in the okay. main chat? No, I sent it in the private chat. All right. Well, everything's in. Wagers are calculated. In one of her last official acts before abdicating, Queen Beatrix reopened this museum after a ten-year renovation. We start with Michelle, who was in last place. With $3,600, she said, what is, I don't know, boobs, let's go with boobs. Boobs should always be the right answer. No, I'm sorry, that is wrong. (laughs) (laughs) She only wagered a dollar. She only wagered a dollar, so she's down to $3,599. Read the wager below it. 
Uh, so we'll see what happens. Chelsea was in second place. She came into this round with I... 20,400, and she said, what is the Hague? Nope, I'm sorry, that is incorrect. It was the first museum I could think of, but I couldn't remember what Queen she, Beatrix was uh, queen of. She wagered 15,000, so she's down to 5,400. 5, Jace came into this round with 35,000 even. Uh, let's see what he said. He said, what is the Rieks Museum? That is the correct answer. His wager, 20,400. By a large margin, Jace is our champion. 55,400 total. And a grand total, seven week total. Uh, I'm getting it for you in just a moment. It is 331,300 is the grand total for your seven weeks as champion. And of course, as always, Jace is going to be back on the Metalcast again next week to defend. Hopefully, Dane will be here to defend as well. He had to leave because he was not feeling well, but uh, there you go. And also, the other thing you get, Jace, for winning is to uh, tell us where you're, tell us where they can find you first. So go ahead. Okay, so uh, look for me just about anywhere um, on uh, Meverse, on uh, Twitter, on uh, Instagram, on uh, fuck it, I'm going to start using. Snapchat. I don't know why. I don't know how, but look me up. Crit hit Jace. You can find me just about anywhere under that name. Um, except for Tumblr. That's mind of Jace with hyphens in between. Uh, and crit hit cosplay on Facebook. All right. Uh, Chelsea. Um, you can find me on the things doing the things. That's, that's wonderful. Chelsea. You can find me on Twitter doing the Twitter thing at Chelfie, C-H-E-L-F-F-I-E. Mm-hmm. I tweet about anime and retweet pictures of dogs. So if you want to find see, and Transformers, apparently. Uh, if you want to see pictures of cute puppies, follow me. I will fill your feed with puppies and Pokemon. Michelle? Um, you can, oh, sorry. Oh, go ahead. I thought you were done. I thought no, you were it's done. cool. Go ahead. Move on. I ain't got did really you, did nothing you have else. No, did you have something else that you had to put? Do you want to pin? No, because my blog is currently on the non-starting hiatus because wow. stuff came up. Fair enough. Michelle? <laughs> what? Michelle, where do we find you? You can find me in therapy now. <laughs> oh, it's okay, Michelle. It's only a game. It doesn't make you stupid. Well, you can find <laughs> me online doing the cosplaying thing at Paper Toad at Cosplay. Um, you can find me on Twitter at Paper Toadette. You can find me on Tumblr as Paper Toadette. Uh, y- you can find me, um, possibly eating all the cookies. And, um, I'm really upset my- Mike didn't read the other wager. <laughs> oh, that you wagered a cookie? Yeah. No, the wager above the cookie. Um... I don't. I don't know what it was because I got rid of all the direct messages once I read them. <laughs> it says it says it's it's hashtag your mum, but it's oh. red pound your mum. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm over. You can find me on TVFairyMind dot com where uh, I host this show, Wrestle Riffs, The Joker's Wild Slam. You can't be serious. Bunch of stuff. Uh, just in case you're wondering, I made the decision this past week to actually step down and resign from Geek Juice Media, so I am no longer affiliated with Geek Juice, uh, in case you are wondering uh, why I'm not pimping that out. But you can still, we're still on friendly terms, so you can go ahead and check them out too, geekjuicemedia.com, I highly recommend it. Uh, for our producer who had to take off Dane Forgione, I'm Mike Riley. I'm Charles Dark and Dan. Sorry. Oh, me? Because <laughs> I, I wasn't in the intro. Yeah. Uh, I'm not Brentle Floss. Okay. I'm Michelle Light. See you next time on the Not Brentle Floss cast. Have a great one. Mm-hmm.